Okay, so pause this video and try to identify the head and shoulder patterns on this chart. Okay, so we have two head and shoulder patterns on this chart. We have one here. Here we have the left shoulder. Here's the head. Here is where the market came back to test the support level. And this is the right shoulder. Also, here is another head and shoulder pattern. This is the left shoulder. This is the head and this is the right shoulder. So pause this video again and try to identify the head and shoulder patterns on this chart. Okay, so we have several head and shoulder patterns on this chart. We have a big one here, left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, right? Here's a small head and shoulder pattern. This one is not symmetrical. We have the left shoulder, right shoulder. We have a long downward movement then we have a lower right shoulder okay here is another non-symmetrical head and shoulder pattern here's the left shoulder here's the head here the market came back to the support level and this is the right shoulder okay so remember on some occasions the head and shoulder patterns are not going to be symmetrical okay so pause the video again and try to identify the head and shoulder patterns on this chart. Okay, so here we have a lovely head and shoulder pattern. This one is lovely. Here's the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. So pause the video again and try to identify the head and shoulder patterns because this market gives you head and shoulder patterns over and over again. Okay, so here we have a lovely head and shoulder pattern. Here's the left shoulder. Here is the head. And here is the right shoulder. And the market fell. So once more, pause the video again and try to identify the head and shoulder patterns. Okay, here was a lovely one. Okay, this was a very lovely one. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Here was another lovely head and shoulder pattern. So here we have the left shoulder, the head, and here we have the right shoulder. Now, there may be smaller head and shoulder patterns inside larger head and shoulder patterns. Okay? So oftentimes you may see a smaller head and shoulder pattern inside a larger head and shoulder pattern. For example, this is a large head and shoulder pattern. Right, this is a very large head and shoulder pattern. Here's the left shoulder, here's the right shoulder, this is the head. So this is a large head and shoulder pattern. And here we have a smaller head and shoulder pattern. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Okay, so on many occasions, you will have smaller head and shoulder patterns inside larger head and shoulder patterns. Here is another example. We have a large head and shoulder pattern, and here we have a small head and shoulder pattern inside this large head and shoulder pattern. Okay, so this is a lovely example. Okay, so remember, on many occasions, you can have a small head and shoulder pattern inside a large head and shoulder pattern. These patterns occur over and over again. These are reversal patterns. So whenever you see an head and shoulder pattern, chances are the market is going to reverse.